nations taking part this year. It's a global sport, it really is. Let's see what Niten Kumar can do. What a nice tidy leg from the Belgians if they can take this out. It's a good guide from Ronnie Hybrex. Yeah, that's why. When you miss, and it's a perfect guide on the outside of that wire. It's so easy. We see it there. That's what he can see as a dart player. It makes the double look bigger with that dart on the outside. And sometimes you, you can over pitch to think the flight and the stem. I've got to say, Kumar looks like he's got a bit of a decent throw. Kick off one, two, three. Damn it, hit. 60 in the last leg and then kind of we've got a bit on top of him. Could well be out of his comfort zone playing in this World Cup. We know that the Hybrix brothers have played at a very, very top level. Even played each other in the World Championship. That was a heartbreaking draw for them. Sorry about that, guys. I did pull you, your numbers out. Right, let's have a look at this throw, Wayne. You know what? That's nice and comfortable, nice and relaxed. Not a lot wrong with it. You know, just with a little bit more experience. And let's not forget, I know we keep saying it, they are representing their countries. India is a massive nation. There's a lot of people out there. And there's quite a few be watching it, so uh, there is a lot of pressure on. But that was a, a very, what I call, comfortable throw. Yeah, it, it was, was kind of correct, wasn't it? We're in control of this leg, India. Now let's see what Nitang can do here. Stay in there. That was just a bit flicky. Have not had nine darts from there, Wayne. They may have another six. That's Kim. Well, I say that. As Kim's going to go for the 180. Do you know what? That's good thinking. I like that because what he's done, he's got that crowd on their feet and shouting as Amit's coming to the board, scaring their opponent. That's good thinking from the Hybrex brothers. I agree. The psychology. 26. Emmett will know whether it affected him or not. Now, for 2-0, double 15. Oh, he's talking to himself. So and it worked. Good Good last start, that. Clearly in, enjoying themselves, which is... We, we've spoken about the people playing with fear, and a lot of the Welsh, you, you alluded to that earlier, Rod, about... That they were kind of, it, there was a, a bit of they were grasping and gripping at, at, at everything and making a meal of it. And the Belgians are just getting on with it. But when you're in front, it, it is very easy to do that. We see in the first game of this uh, this evening, the Republic of Ireland went three 0 up. They were coasting. It was so easy uh, for the, the Republic of Ireland. All of a sudden, and Singapore you. just hit a purple patch. And they come back, put the pressure, end up rolling off the five legs on the trot. And like you mentioned about the Welsh, they were under pressure from the start. Of course, the Hybrex brothers tuned it up, coasting away. And uh, it is so much easier when you're leading. Really, the format this year is just a knockout. No groups. None of this leg difference lark. If you win, you're in the next round. If you're unfortunate enough to get beat, you're on your way home. And for some of these nations, oh, it's a long flight. Anyway, I hope New Zealand get home well. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I, I prefer the knockout. 
to save in the third and fourth playoff when you have them in other sports, it don't work for me. When you've been knocked out, you've lost all that adrenaline, all that buzz. That's uh, what the game's all about. If you're good enough, you'll win and win money. If you're not, I'm sorry. There's nothing that we can do about it. And certainly at the moment, the Highbridge yeah, brothers, they are good enough. If you're not good enough, you end up in here, Rob. <laughs> That was a good dive. That's why I've been in here for a long time. They're trying to keep the pressure on. But Belgium, you just know that they have another gear and maybe a, a few more. Uh, he's left 36, which is no problem, but did go for a 10 to leave 32. Well, certainly what the Belgians have done is set the shot up, as we call it, Wayne. I mean, the previous leg, King hit the 180 to lead 30. And now his brother has left hit a big shot to lead 36. And that's where the first half goes. Three legs to nil. The Belgians take the lead. And, as we said before, looking very, very comfortable. And there's no question that the leader of the Belgian team is the younger of the brothers, Kim. Perfect. The first goal. It was begging to be joined. There we see it. Two 180s now in this match. For Team Belgium. Wow. Emmett is, is now getting into his stride now. He seems to have calmed down a bit. Gone are the, the really wild darts, and now he seems to be throwing a bit, bit quicker. And testament to him, because when you're 3-0 down, just to relax in oh, itself is a, is a feat. Well, for these players, Wayne, to, you know, to be in a practice room with the Phil Taylors, the Van Gerwens, the Van Barnabats, you know, the Whitlocks, all them famous players that they have been watching on TV for years as Kim, is this a second? 180, but Kim breaks in this way. This is a proper leg of darts, this. And that's where they're overwrought, these other countries, but they will get used to it the more and more they play. What a leg of darts. 41 after 9 from the Highbridge Brothers. Nine. Thirty-two. Eleven dart leg. That is the quickest we've seen so far. And you see that. You you can sense that Kim wants to, yeah, and, and jump around and kind of get involved. But Ronnie is definitely that calm and influence. He really is. Like I said earlier, they, they play as a pair. And they are. About brothers. So you would think that the older brother of the two would do the calming factor. The youngster is normally always the wild one in the family. Certainly the world one here has got the extra scoring power. And, and of course, you want the, the leader to obviously to go first because you're thinking 15 dark legs. The leader's going to throw three times, you know, the other guy's only going to throw two. Well, disaster. Looks like being five zip. It'd be nice if the Indians could get a leg just for a bit of confidence and it'd be nice for them because it's a long way here and a long way home he's gone off the boil there's Nitan this down to experience for the Indians and they'll come back stronger and stronger now they've got something to go for you know, they get more and more players that are going to play just because they want to come and represent their country and what an honour it is for them so this could be his last three darts of the 2014 B-Win World Cup here in Hamburg 
from Titi, it was only just three twenties. Uh, Gillick Wallace seemed like he'd settled down, but he's kind of gone missing now as well. It's all about the 32, and it's in. Belgium beat India by five legs to zip. It just didn't happen for the Indians. The runners up from last year are on the march again through to the second round where they will play Austria.